to a new weekly vlog. I'm sorry there wasn't one last week, but um, like I said in my little update video I made instead, I got sick and lost interest in vlogging. As you may be able to hear in my voice, I'm still not great, but I'm feeling lots better mentally than I was at the end of last week. Um, what you missed last week was I spoke at a YouTube meetup. I spoke about branding. I mentioned that in the update video as well. But yeah, I just want to include a bit of footage that did get taken from that because it was an awesome experience. It was uh, great to test out what people might be interested in hearing about branding on YouTube so that I know better what to talk about in my workshop at VidCon. Um, and the audience was really like participated a lot and it was really cool. So um, here's some clips from that. week is looking like it's going to be a very busy one so I'm hoping that I get better very quickly. Um, tomorrow I'm probably, I think anyway, going to be going to film at the YouTube space for some videos that they're making there. I'm going to be like presenting in them which is new and scary for me but that is the kind of thing that I want to make sure I you know take those opportunities that do scare me because it's an opportunity to practice speaking etc. Should be good hopefully. Um, Wednesday, go to see Book of Mormon again. Really looking forward to that because I love that musical. And going with Sammy and Nick, and it's their last week in London, which is so sad. I can't believe it. Um, as you may not know if you haven't watched vlogs before this, but Sammy is my sister. She goes by SmayJ on YouTube. She's got an awesome channel. You should check it out. I'll link it below. And we've lived together, well, we haven't for the past six months, but before that, we've lived together for many years. Obviously growing up we lived together and then again when she moved to Wellington to go to university we lived together again up until about six months ago when we got different flats here in London but across the road from each other. She's moving back to New Zealand and I'm really gonna miss her. It's gonna be, it's just gonna be weird not having her around. But I've got this little shelf up here which I feel is like a shrine to Sammy because there's the photos of us and then our cacti. Um, oh, that reminds me. I just filmed some videos this morning. I filmed um, that update video that you already saw. I saw filmed. I filmed a review of my MacBook, which you would have seen already. So I don't know why I'm mentioning these videos. I also filmed a desk tour, which should be coming out uh, hopefully this weekend. I guess that'll be the video. So stay tuned for that because I know a lot of people have been asking about it and about my monitor and my desk, etc. So yeah. That'll be in that video. A quick update on the standing desk though, um, because at the end of the last vlog I was not keen on it, um, we ended up having to take the legs off again because we hadn't left enough space for this bar here that goes along the back. I don't know, the instructions were terrible and we didn't think ahead, the instructions didn't tell us to. So yeah, we took the legs off and moved them apart a bit so that this bar could fit on. Now. Now it is much more stable and um, I like it a lot more than I did at the end of the last vlog. So that's good. Anyway, right now I'm going to get on with my work day, just planning what I'm going to do today. And I think I might actually spend it doing some learning. Um, I'm going to get a Treehouse account and start learning about Unix and Git for learning to code because I've got HTML and CSS, like I understand them and um, you know, I know how to Google for issues that I run into there, but it's the more professional things that come along with web development that I struggle with. So that's something I'm looking forward to learning. Um, so yeah, I might do that today. Seems like a good way to spend a Monday. went for a little walk around the park to get some fresh air and the supermarket picked up one of these um, innocent smoothie drinks that I really like. Right now I have a pie cooking in the oven for lunch and I'm currently working my way through the console foundations course on Treehouse so I'm learning all about terminal basically and Unix and how to use it. This is one of my major gaps in knowledge is understanding those sorts of that part of the web development process so I'm finding this course really good so far um, looking forward to doing more of them too once I get through this one and then I'll probably film a, like a video reviewing like the experience in general of using Treehouse so far so good good afternoon today I'm doing something very exciting heading into the YouTube space to film a video 
but it's not a video for my channel it's a video to go as part of their unlock the space course so it's like um, a series of training videos you have to watch before you can book the space and use the studios and things and they've asked me to present one for some reason that I'm very confused about now because I'm realizing I've never done this sort of thing before so it's gonna be interesting they've given me a script to learn and everything and so yeah not sure how much I'll be able to vlog in there but I'll try and capture a few snippets for you and I'll tell you all about it afterwards anyway I expected it was a very long and busy day yesterday so I didn't really vlog I don't know didn't really feel too professional to be pulling out the vlog camera in between shots um, and also just I don't know wasn't thinking about it um, but yeah the shoot went well I think anyway I was not good at reading my lines correctly the first time or the second time or the third time <laughs> but got there in the end. I mean, I'm not an actor, so I'm not used to memorizing lines and reading them correctly. When I write scripts for YouTube videos, first of all, it's something I've written, so it's something I think anyway. And it's just like writing a script is just my way of organizing my thoughts, um, and that helps. And then I, also I never care if it comes out exactly like I wrote it, because I mean, it doesn't matter. So yeah, that was a new experience for me, but good one to have and I got to film on a new set at the YouTube space that's only gonna be up for one day and so it's pretty cool that I got to do a little clip on it for the video the video is gonna be um, I think I said already as part of their unlock the space course so it's not like it's a public viewing thing that everyone can watch but if you are a UK based youtuber and you're gonna try and use the YouTube space then you might see me in the video sometime soon I'm not sure when they'll be up but yeah I'll let you know Right now, I just went for a walk to pick up a UPS package because annoyingly, because I was out yesterday, they decided just to deliver it to an access point rather than try and re-deliver it. And that for me meant walking 15 minutes down the road, um, which is not actually that far, so I don't know why I'm complaining. But it was a big package I carried. Check it out. It's this giant box. Um, this right here is proof that advertising works. Mark and I decided to buy, well, I decided, but I got one for him too, some Casper pillows because I've seen them get good reviews and I don't know just thought it would be comfortable and felt like splurging on that because that's what you do when you're an adult. So I'm gonna open this box now and see what they like. the afternoon but I forgot to film any of that. Now I'm with these two. Oh. On the other side there. We just had five guys which is gonna be their last five guys because they move back to New Zealand on Sunday. And now we're off to book at Mormon. For a working from home vlog I sure am in the city a lot this week. Um, today I'm in Covent Garden. Take a look. I love this part of London, it's so pretty. Um, anyway, I'm heading to the Apple Store now because I'm going to go to a iPad calligraphy workshop hosted by Ian Barnard, who is the designer of pretty much all of the script fonts that I use in my videos. I'm really looking forward to meeting him and also learning some tips and tricks from him and I'm gonna try and get him on the vlog too. So we'll see, but looking forward to this. Uh, providing food for my children. Like, <laughs> my children, so, uh, like pretty much every single time, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so Thank you guys you. should go buy them too. I'll leave a link to them down below. How do you think the workshop went? Uh, really well, really Good. well. Uh, yeah, I like it. First time doing it, but um, <laughs> thankful the people turned up. Yeah, lots of people. Uh, and everyone's watching us vlog. Yeah. <laughs> 
morning everyone. So the lettering workshop last night was awesome. Um, cool to meet Ian, he's super talented. There were some really other talented people in the group as well, so yeah. Um, it's definitely going to take a lot more practice for me to get good at iPad lettering, but it was cool to get some tips and tricks and also to get the like um, practice sheets that Ian had put together and brushes. So it was awesome, glad I went along to that and pretty cool that it was free in at the Apple store. I should definitely keep my eye out for more stuff happening like that. Anyway, this morning I am not properly up and ready for the day yet, as you can tell, because my hair is still in my ponytail from yesterday. Um, right now I'm going to screen print a t-shirt because I've had an order come through and I thought I'd just show you quickly like how I handle this screen printing thing at home in a London flat. So first off, this is my box of all my screens and it just sort of lives up here in the wardrobe usually. So whenever I get an order through I just pull the box down and pull out the screen that I need, which today is this one here, I Def Hopes and Dreams. Um, oh, my squeegees in here too. They're not normally, but yeah, that's well. These are just like cloths that I use for hair dyeing and also sometimes screen printing if I feel like I might get something on the ground. Okay, let's grab this. So I just print on this uh, dining table here because you don't need a fancy screen printing rig or anything. Then over here in my Alex drawers is where I keep in this drawer here all of my inks and stuff. So, I'm going to need my clamps. Where the heck's the other one? There it is. That's to like hold the print, uh, hold the screen onto the table so that it doesn't move when you're printing it. And today I need black ink. So that one there. Then I just lay the t-shirt onto the table here and grab some paper. So I put like a piece of card or paper or whatever inside the t-shirt so that when I print, the print doesn't go through onto the back as well. Oh, and by the way, I just buy the t-shirts off um, Amazon, usually. I don't keep a bulk stock of them because I never know what people are going to order. And yes, that pretty much means that I don't make much from my t-shirts, but I don't really mind because I just like knowing that people are wearing my stuff. And one day I'll work out a way to actually make it profitable. <laughs> Next, I take my screen and um, the, so it's got the card inside the t-shirt. I'm going to place the screen on the t-shirt, which I need both hands for, so yeah, let's go do that. Then I take these clamps and clamp the screen in place onto the table. Then I take my ink and my spoon and just scoop like a bit out and I'm going to put it at the top of the frame here. I always like to use the back of the spoon as well because that way ink doesn't get like stuck in that concave bit. Probably should get like a spatula or something, that'd be better. Okay, grab the squeegee, make sure the frame is like holding in place. And we print. Scrape the excess back into the pot. And I always like to use the um, bag that the t-shirt came in just as like a place to put inky stuff. All right. All right, now we're gonna lift this up by taking the clamps off carefully and not like letting the screen shuffle around and smudge. And then lift it up and hope like hell it's okay. Looks great. Because this is a London flat, we do not have a laundry room uh, for me to wash the screen off with. And the shower also doesn't have a nozzle that can come off that I can do it with. So I then wash out my screens in the sink. Classy. And then I clean the sink. Um, I use water-based inks, so this comes off really easily, but I guess if uh, you weren't using water-based, this could be a problem. Um, then I just put my screen on uh, this old sheet down here and lean it up against the wall to dry. By the way, I do have a whole video all about my screen printing process that goes into it in detail, so check that out because it might answer any questions that you may have. Now I need to have a shower and get ready for my day. Day now I ended up not heat setting the thing yesterday, got carried away with work. Just been for brunch with Sammy and Nick and Lou and Mark and I've just heat this set the t-shirt 
which basically as you saw just involves ironing with the iron for about like seven or eight minutes um, like pressing down on it so that you really heat the ink and bond it to the fabric I suppose it works pretty well for me I'm not ashamed to say I own my own t-shirts as well and wear them a lot and the prints have lasted well over the years now I'm just doing the label and I have another full video about that labeling process so I'll link that and you can watch that process there Look what I bought in town. I'm very excited. I've been thinking about an Apple Watch for a while and decided to just do it. Um, the strap doesn't really fit me, but I've ordered the leather one that will arrive on Monday. Let's get this thing set up. Hey everyone. So, as per usual, forgot to end the vlog on the weekend. It was a bit of a funny weekend because Sammy left, so... Um, it was good to hang out with her on Saturday a lot. We went for breakfast and then in the afternoon for drinks and in the evening. Um, after her drinks, me, her and Nick came back here and watched She's the Man because it's like a movie that is one that Sammy and I have been watching for so long. We know all the words to it and we're quoting along with it. Um, I'm just going to insert a clip here. Say something. I gotta turn the sprinklers on. <laughs> So that was really fun and a good way to spend like our last night living in the same city together because now she's on her way back to New Zealand. Right now she's in New York actually, I'm very jealous and uh, can't wait to see her vlogs from that. If you're not subscribed to her already you should definitely go and do that, she'll be linked down below in the description because yeah, those vlogs should be awesome. But yeah, then she's moving back to New Zealand and that's sad because now I'm the only one from my immediate family on this side of the world. Anyway, that's why I didn't really vlog on the weekend because I was just focusing on spending the last, you know, bits of time I had with Sammy and then not doing all that much on Sunday to be honest. Uh, today this thing arrived. It's a leather strap for my Apple Watch, which I think makes it look quite nice. It looks kind of like just a normal watch. Still don't 100% know if it's worth the money or actually useful, but I'm enjoying it so far so that's good. <clears throat> I'm wanting to see if it can actually like add to my workflow and with productivity or whatever and yeah I might make a video on that if it does. Anyway uh, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you for watching this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, it was a bit of a weird one. I thought it was gonna be a good one because I went out and was doing lots of stuff but I find when I'm busy I actually forget to talk to the camera more and so I don't know, I kind of feel like my best vlogs are ones where I'm kind of just at home and that's what this coming week is going to be. So if you didn't like this vlog so much, stay tuned for next week because I'll be chatting to the camera more. So uh, hit subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you in that next one. Bye!